Coming soon in Tableau 10.2 is the new automatic date parse function. This is pretty cool and I thought I'd show you a little demo of how it works when I was testing it. So I've got the 10, Tableau 10.2 beta open and I'm going to connect to a text file that is a chat log from WhatsApp. So I go ahead and open this up and you'll see I get a lot of extra fields and all that. Well first thing I need to do is I'm going to change my text file properties. I'm going to make this to some character that I know won't work. And I need to make sure I update my locale. No problem there. Basically all I was trying to do was get everything into one row. From here I'm going to untick the show field names in the first row. I'm sorry, I want to choose generate field names automatically. And I get a single row and you'll see that it has uh, a date field and then it has a name and sometimes that is a name plus a message. So I need to parse, the first thing I need to do is I need to split this field. So I'm going to create a custom split and my split is going to be a colon and then a space and I want to split it into three columns. The first column should give me the, the date, the second is uh, the name of the person and the third is the message. Hit OK and there we go. So now I've got my date, I've got the message, and anytime I have a null over here, I'm sorry, I've got the person in column two. So let me go ahead and just rename this as date. I'm going to rename this one as uh, name. And then lastly, this one is the message. So what I can do from here now is with the new automatic date parse feature, I can click on the little ABC icon and change it to date time and automatically Tableau converts that to a date for me. Perfect. Previously that would have taken quite a bit of work. From here I can just go to my sheet and what I would do from this point is I would go ahead and I would hide my F1 field because I don't need that. And I would also go ahead and add a data source filter. And the filter I'm going to add in this case is the message. And what I want to do is I want to exclude the nulls. Hit OK. And now I can easily see, if I look at this by day, how many messages were sent each day. And there we go. You can probably pretty clearly see when we were on tour. So that's one example. So let's look at another one. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the start page. And this time I'm going to connect to the Makeover Monday data set from week three. So in this case, it's a, it's a and it's an Excel file. So I'm going to go to my folder where I keep that. And it's this folder for real Donald Trump tweets. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in. And previously I had to write a pretty interesting uh, date parse calculation to get this to work right. In here we see a field called created at. I wrote a date parse function that I thought worked right, but I used two lowercase h's and what that resulted in was the hours of 12 being converted to uh, 0 to 1 a.m. when really I should have used uppercase h's. Well let's see how this works. This is the very first time I'm trying this in Tableau. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to date time. And there we go. Tableau did it perfectly. So now I can go to my new sheet and I can look at the tweets that Donald Trump that Donald Trump created over time. So maybe I want to look at his number of tweets and I want to look at whether it was a tweet or a retweet. And there we go. So two simple examples of how the new date parse function works in Tableau 10.2. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.